Well, children, where there is so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think that twixt the Negroes of the South and the women of the North all talking about rights, the white men will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helps me in the carriage or over mud puddles or give me any best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns and no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much when I could get it as any man and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne 13 children and see most all sold off to slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Then they talk about this thing in the head. What is this they call it? Uh, intellect, that's it, yeah. But what's that got to do with women's rights or Negro's rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? Then that little man back there, he says, women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? He come from God and a woman. Man ain't have nothing to do with it. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all along, these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now they's asking to do it. The men better let them. 